The fact that the fact that he came into office and the first thing that he said was drill, baby, drill. His point is we need energy growth. Without energy growth, we can have no industrial growth. And that was, it saved, it saved the AI industry. Got, I got to tell you flat out, if not for his pro-growth energy policy, we would not be able to build factories for AI. We'd not be able to build chip factories. We won't sure, we surely won't be able to build supercomputer factories. None of that stuff would be possible. Without all of that, construction jobs would be challenged, right? Electrical, you know, electrician jobs. All of these jobs that are now flourishing would be challenged. And so I think he's got it right. We need energy growth. We want to reindustrialize the United States. We need to be back in manufacturing. Every successful person doesn't need to have a PhD. Every successful person doesn't have to have gone to Stanford or MIT. And I think I think that 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 you know that sensibility is is spot on. Now we're talking about technology growth and energy growth. There's a lot of people that go, oh no, that's not what we need. We need to you know simplify our lives and get back. But the real issue is that we're in the middle of a giant technology race, and whether people are aware of it or not, whether they like it or not, it's happening, and it's a really important race because whoever gets to whatever the event horizon of artificial intelligence is. Whoever gets there first has massive advantages in a huge way. 